What's up guys, hope you're doing great today. We are here today with a quick tutorial on how to use Twixter Pro on a 30 FPS clip. So let's get right to it. So first thing first, let's bring our clip into this. So a lot of people, I mean, I don't recommend you to use, uh, you know, to shoot in 30 FPS and use Twixter Pro. Like obviously you want to shoot, you know, 60 FPS or above, but there's some people who don't have that luxury. So, you know, I didn't have 60 FPS for a very long time, and uh, there's sometimes I can't go and shoot 60 FPS, so I have to make the best out of it. So I learned this tutorial. I learned how to use this on a tutorial. I forgot which one it was on, but it's really sim simple. Basically, you don't want anything moving really fast. You want everything still, and it comes out the best. I'll have a couple examples. You know, I'm going to do this first one, and I'm going to show you all the second example of why you need it to be a little bit slow so it can work together properly. So here's the clip. All right. I'm going to mute that because it's pretty loud. So that was the clip. Play it again one more time. That's what it looks like, right? It looks really shitty. It does not look that good, man. It's horrible. So, um... Let's get to it. Let's do the Twixter. So let's find Twixter. Add it on there. Go to effects tab. And um, I don't touch any of this at all. I don't touch any of this. I leave it alone. Unless I really have to get into it. But most of the time you don't. You just have to scroll down. Go down to speed. And there's one problem. Actually, there's a few problems with this stuff. So I don't know if it's my program or it's... Um, Adobe or Twixer, I don't know what it is. So, as soon as you type in the speed, it's going to cut the clip in half, right? But the thing is, it only uses this amount of time to use that that effect, right? So, say you do slow it down, it, you're only going to get about this much, right? About this much of the clip within this time, though, look. So, I'll play the clip again. This is it 100 100% speed, right? You saw that? Now let's add 50%. So now the end of the clip it's not where the camera drops off. So let's play it one more time. Oh, that's really bad. Let me drop that. You see that? And you don't see the camera drop off, right? So it pushes the clip outwards if that if that makes sense. So you know, so if you want it slower, you won't get to the very end of it. So let me put it at 20. That looks way smoother and cooler. But you see, it ends right there. The, this is the amount of space you have to use the Twixter, if that makes sense. I hope this makes sense to y'all. So um, the way I figured out how to get through this was... So I'll take off Twixter. I'll delete it. Go back to the original clip. This is the original clip. All right. So what I ended up doing was uh, I press the clip, press X, and it'll highlight the clip. And I extend this out to however far you want. If you really want it slow, obviously you want it. You want to extend this as far as you can. And um, it's it's really stupid that you have to do this and you can't just grab the clip and pull it out. You know. Obviously, there's a reason why, but I don't know because I'm not that smart. So, here's a clip. Like I said, press the clip, press X, grab this little highlight, this little tab thingy, whatever, pull it out as far as you want it. But just remember, this is the amount of time you have to. Uh, this is the now you ha you're adding extra time. So if you did 50, if you're going to do 50, double it. If you're going to do 20, triple it. You, you understand? So let's just do this amount and we're going to export this. Export just usual Twixer 30 FPS exports. All right. All right. The clip is done. Let me go grab it real quick for y'all. So here's the second clip, right? So now. As you can see, it's a whole clip now. So it's going to use the whole clip that it was rendered at. So I'm going to delete this now, right? I'm going to delete this. Now go back to Twixer. Add it on there. Let's do 50. So now you're going to be able to see where the camera drops off. 
So remember before you couldn't see it? Now you can. Play it again. Now you can see the whole clip. So literally the however long the clip is is how long you can slow mo it for. So let's do twenty now. See? It was black before. And it's black right there, but when you add twenty, there you go. And now it's gonna be even longer. And look how much smoother that looks. Doesn't that look clean? That looks so much better. That's at 20. And, uh, you know, there's nothing really moving besides the camera. So these are the type of shots that you want to be trying to get. Like, you can pull off a lot more. And, um, it's really convenient. Sometimes, obviously, you want to be shooting this at 60 FPS because it will be a lot cleaner than this is. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. So here's another example of why you need it to be um, something like that. Because if you don't, then it's going to come out weird. Let me find a clip in my archive. All right, so here's a clip that I shot at a show for my friend, Doe Man. You should go check him out. He has some really great music. So here's a clip, right? Let's move this over again. Zoom in. So here it is. So here's the clip. Let me mute this. It's going to be really loud. So that's the old clip. Yeah, just let me skip to it. So this is the clip, right? See how he's jumping around, moving, and doing all this crazy stuff? There's a lot right now that's going on. There's confetti, DJ in the background, lights, people dancing. He's jumping around. So let's add Twixer to that. Let's see how this looks now. Go to effects tab. Okay, let's put it at 50. Start there. Start from the beginning. It, it looks okay until he starts, until you really start focusing on the subject. You start seeing all these little warps, all these little weird things, right? So that's the reason why you need to shoot a higher FPS because it picks up more of that subject, right? And, and you know, it's double the frames. So with Twixer, what it does, it add, it blends an extra f uh, frame that you don't have, if that makes sense, right? So it literally adds another frame. So it blends it all together and makes it as smooth as possible. As smooth as possible, and that's when you come in here and you try to do the best you can to adjust it and make it good. But you you still don't want to. You want to avoid this as much as possible. I've seen people do this in their clips, and it looks so retarded. Sometimes you can't get away with them, pull it off, and it's kind of like, it's it looks cool, but it doesn't look professional. So you don't you don't want to do that. So now let's drop the speed to twenty. Now let's really see how it looks. You see these warps? See that looks fine. And boom, warp, warp. You can't even see their hand. It just looks so. It just looks so bad. And some people are okay with it. Some people aren't. Some people are gonna say it's not professional. Some people are gonna say it looks dumb. Just Avoid this as much as possible. So now let's drop this to 10. Let's see how this looks now. And now it's just... It looks really weird. And yeah, avoid shots like that. Stick to... Stick to, you know, shots that the subject's not moving a lot. And um, only the camera's moving. It looks a lot better and cleaner. And yeah, that's how you use Twixter Pro on a 30 FPS clip. So remember guys, here are the key points. Try to keep the subject from not moving a lot. Move the camera, uh, move like do like little sliding movements, little panning stuff that makes it look a lot more cleaner. Um if if the subject is moving, make sure it doesn't move a lot. They they're not moving like crazy. Here, let me try to find another clip so I can explain it more. Here's another example. So here's another clip of my friend Reason walking, right? And the camera's really, the camera's moving. The camera movement's not the problem. The problem is just the, the subject moving, right? So that's him moving. So let's add Twixer Pro to it. And uh, let's put it at 50. Let's see how this looks. See, it doesn't look too bad. It looks pretty decent. You, this is really good, actually, for 50. So, but I say you want it really slow. So let's put it at 20. 20. Let's put it 20. Ooh, wow, that looks that looks pretty good. See, there's a few shots that I know I can grab off of this. 
and um, it'll look good. See, that's not too bad. See, there's there's some things you can pull off, but say if he were to move his head really fast, then yeah, the blend would not look good. It would look like it just would look horrible. So, Alright guys, um, I hope y'all enjoy this. Sorry if I didn't explain it really good. I just I just felt like I needed to put this video out now because I've been searching all over YouTube to try to see if someone has made a video of this because I know some people have a problem with the Twixter not being able to have more uh video to expand it. You know how I said in the beginning where like you try to pull it out, like it would be cool if you can pull it out more and get more of your scene. But you don't. So the the best way to do it is to, like how I said, export it. So grab the clip, press the clip, click it, press X, and expand this. If you do that, you'll be able to have more clip to play with. So once again, guys, thank you, thank you for watching. Comment, like, share this. Help your friends out. It help everyone out. If you have any questions, uh, just leave a comment down below, and I'll help you out. Peace.